Hey everyone, sorry I'm a little late here. Um, as you guys can see here, I have a new BRB screen. I made it myself just before the stream started, so if it seems kind of like lazy and rushed, that's why. Um, so as you guys can see that now Buster is joined by a weird looking like blonde cat girl with blue eyes. Um, her name is Twinkle. I think I've talked a little bit about her before, but she's the wife of Buster in like the stories and whatever. They used to write stories a lot. I still write them, but it's not as often anymore. I haven't really had the time to do so. I should be getting a new one out here eventually. <laughs> Just because I've been so backed up with every other, you know, friggin' thing in the world. So let's switch to the actual game so you guys can, you know, start seeing that as opposed to having a full video where I just talk at the BMB, on the BRB screen with Isaac music playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry I was a little late. I had some stuff I was doing. Uh, let's go ahead and do our first run with... So we're going to start with normal mode. We'll get everything finished up. Well, we're going to try to get hard mode cleared out. Get some hard mode clears because... If we don't, it's going to take forever to get everything unlocked. It already is going to anyway, because there's so much shit. Because this is three DLCs worth of content. On top of the base game. So I haven't really actually played Isaac. Well, I have a little bit. Uh, last night. But I haven't played on this file since last stream. So that file that you that run that you saw there was from last stream. I'm gonna try not to die. So the thing about Lazarus is is that he's the only character that starts with the ability to revive upon death because of his uh, Bible story. Lazarus of Bethany, or Bethlehem technically is what it's better known as, but Bethany, Bethlehem, I think they're both the exact same kind of thing anyway, so it don't matter. Hope the frame rate for this video isn't too choppy. I do have some other programs running in the background, but it's only because for whatever reason the game doesn't want to save. Uh, proptosis uh, because I'm an Amazon Prime subscriber and with Prime Gaming uh, they were giving away copies of uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road so I've been playing that I might stream that sometime but um, the game doesn't save so I have to like keep the game open <laughs> hey three good pills so it's not, I don't recommend that you guys take pills inside of curse rooms because there's a good chance you can fuck yourself. But we got a range, a shot speed, and a uh, I'm excited pill. Well, range, shot speed up, post I'm excited. So proptosis, uh, the closer the tiers are to your enemy, the more damage they do. Because as you see, as they fly across the screen, they shrink. Uh, this item is not recommended to take if you have soy milk. Due to the fact that um, your tears will just literally fall right in front of your face. And if the game sounds sped up, it's because of the uh, I'm Excited pill. We forgot to check our shop for this floor, but that's okay. Hang on just a minute, guys. My cord is stuck in my wheel. There we go. I didn't throw out the BRB screen because it was only going to be like a couple of seconds. At most, one minute. Alright, so now not taking damage right here is where it's going to start mattering. Fuck! I hate that I'm excited, Pill. Alright, so PhD is a really, really good item. I'm not going to bomb the donation machine to get a hold of PhD. Uh, so, 
I guess we just don't need it for this run. We'll get a different run. We eventually do have to get a hold of all the items in the game anyway, so... I don't really feel too bad missing out on PhD for this run. Also, I don't know when the update is coming, but I did hear that there was supposed to be an update for Repentance here soon. Something about nerfing a couple items and you son of a fucking cunt. Yeah, they're gonna be nerfing a couple of items I don't have unlocked yet, but... <laughs> uh, I do know what they do, because I do watch a lot of Northern Lion and I've seen a few episodes of Sinvicta. Isaac series. Friend zone. Uh, so this is a self-sacrifice room. It's really nice to uh, play this because there's some stuff you can unlock through here. But as for the fact I'm going to try not to use Lazarus as a revival, I'm just going to avoid it for now. But any other give and, and on any other given run, I would definitely be playing that curse room until I use Revive Lazarus. Which, in case anyone's curious, all Revive Lazarus does is give you a stat bone, a stat buff, and it also gives you the uh, item Anemic. I think it's been that way since Rebirth. Yeah, because there's a couple of extra things that were given to us through unlocks and Afterbirth. Versus Larry Jr. Here we go. Uh, I would pop the Empress card, but like... Larry Jr. is such an easy boss... That I don't feel the need I should have to. <laughs> no Devil Deal because we... Screwed our chances. Next floor. Oh no. And of course, I screw my chances here too. That these bone enemies are. They're an issue as it is anyway, so. I'm not really too upset. The bone enemies always have been kind of like ass wipes. So, my least favorite, one of my least favorite enemies next to the variants we'll be seeing like. Way later on. When we get to deeper into unlocks. <clears throat> but that's for right now, fuck the bonies. Not a single spirit heart, and all I do is pay out with black spot with evil spiders. Not black spiders. Well they are black colored, but the thing is, is I was thinking black spiders and blue spiders because blue spiders are the friendly ones. But yeah, that was kind of dumb. After all I sacrificed and you want to freaking dick me over like that. Alright. So this is Isaac's bedroom. I do recommend that you guys do enter one of these if you have the bombs to do so. Uh, this is a dirty bedroom, so we can't sleep in the bed. We probably could have played Key Judgment until he paid out, but... Ah, uh, screw it. I do need one key because I need to access my item room. Can we get a petrified poop before it's all gone? Last poop's gonna have it. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Fuck you, red chests. I think these are gapers, what they're called. Because I think there's an unlock for completing the entirety of the beastiary. 
which is like every uh, every enemy in Isaac. How did I? How did I do that without taking damage? Usually, I can't, you know, not take damage against those red exploder flies. Eight inch nails. All right, this is fun. So short range nail tears. Short range mega nail tears. I think 8 inch nails gives knockback. So it looks like I don't honestly know. I don't have the uh, mod that tells me what all items do installed. And I don't really pay much attention. But it looked like they were knock they were being knocked back. All this money. Uh, should we buy the jar because we need a space parade? Nah, we'll donate. Because as I said, I'm going to get this donation machine to 1,000 before I do anything else. As far as, you know, buying shop items. Well, unless the shop item is really well worth it. I will buy shop items, but... <clears throat> The reason why I want to get to 1000 is because it's a very tedious task, to say the least. There's that, and it's one of the most annoying unlocks in the game, so. Still no devil deals. So the next floor it doesn't matter. Caves 2. Ooh, a dime. So, uh, we'll take umbilical cord. We don't have another trinket option, so. Well, not yet. Shit. Kill the fat pet. Number one. This is a tears upgrade, but our range goes down. How we're peeing nails. That has to hurt. Okay, so peep. Okay, so did it again. What the fuck? Anyway, peep isn't that bad of a boss. His posthumous counterpart, the bloat, is a fucking issue, though. Yeah, I know, Satan. I fucking took damage, so you're not gonna appear. Kiss my ass. I don't give a shit anymore. So we unlocked Magdalene, who has the most HP of any character at start. Uh, I do like Maggie. She's really fun to play with. Not as fun as Judas, but she's fun. Which we'll be seeing Judas... Not too far from now. If his unlock method is what I think it is. Yeah. Well, actually we do have a little bit, a little bit of ways to go before we see Judas, so... Unless we decide to cheese the game. To speed the process up. Which I think there's only one way to do that. And you have to have a certain item on a certain floor, so...
Holy crap. So yeah, there are champion variants that are giant. Ooh, the world. Okay. I was glad I didn't waste a bomb just a second ago there. I was gonna waste a bomb to uh, see if where that key is in that challenge room uh, is, if that was a secret room. But I don't have any bombs either, so it doesn't matter. Shot speed upgrade. Retrovision. It makes the quality kind of shit. Two more pills. Shot speed up. Let's speed down. Shit. Yeah, so umbilical cord gives you, like, the Gemini item. Upon taking damage, I think. I know it's a Gemini item, I just don't know if it's upon damage. Alright, so this... Oh, shit. Puckered up asshole enemy here has got... Uh, show me... Homing shots. Show me hots. <laughs> uh, what's in here? Three pills. Shot speed upgrade again. Another experimental pill. And a range upgrade. That range upgrade is very much welcomed. Because my range as of right now was complete... Sh was shit, I mean. Because of proptosis in number two, but... Or number one. Number two is... Worse than number one. Well, not really. Number two has its situations. Golden keys. Just in time for, you know, all those bombs. Juicy sack. So I think it has a chance to spawn, like, flies and spiders. Apparently so. I'm not sure what spawned it there. Unless I took damage against that red poop. Uh, the broken syringe. Uh, chaos for 12 cents. If it can get money out of this... Nope. Donation. I know what you guys are probably thinking, you probably should just be, I should have just waited and bought chaos, but I want to get that donation machine full. Ah, oh, Butterbean. Butterbean is terrible, by the way. So the broken syringe at random times will give us a stat will give us stat buffs because it's based on the uh, there was my fucking devil deal again. It's based on the uh, syringes, syringe items like experimental treatment and growth hormones and stuff like that. Monster two. So monster two isn't as bad as his original counterpart. I do like or. As bad as Monster 1. I do like Monster 2. He's kind of a fun fight. Because he's like super fucking easy to get in the corner like that and just wail on him. Alright. Satan. You can... Sugal on me, Orshla. Going this entire fucking room without a double deal. I can see it already. Alright. Depths 2. This is where we fight Mom. So those were purple fires, which are like blue fires, except they um, have homing shots that they fire at random. <clears throat> so I'm trying to think of something like to talk about here, but ooh, lucky rock, it's a fun trinket. But uh, I just saw a video yesterday by a uh, wintry wyvern. He's a really good YouTuber. I do recommend you guys check him out. Um, 
he posted about the official release of the Heron Gun, which are the uh, official name of the Bunny Folk in D and D Five E. And oh my gosh, they are actually like a very fun looking race to play with in Five E because uh, Heron Gun have like really fun features. I won't say what they are because I'll leave it for viewers to go like look at it if they want to see what all is possible with Heron Gun as official stuff because I don't like spoiling. Hive Mind we're definitely going to be taking because I finally had enough coins that I could just spend without having to donate all of it. Uh, yes please. Head to the Keeper. Alright, so on occasions, when we deal damage to enemies, uh, there is a chance that they can spawn money. And this is a really fun item. You get it from blowing up shopkeepers. So here's a chest room. So chest rooms, are, you'll, you'll know they're always guarded by two locked doors. Uh, we have Play to Win, which I do not know what the hell that does. This is Mom's toenail, which occasionally makes Mom's foot drop. And this is the goat hoof, which gives us a speed upgrade. I kind of want to stick with um, Broken Syringe. As much as I do like a speed upgrade, I don't think we really need to be that much faster. But yeah, as far as D&D stuff goes also, um, I've been trying to get an attempt to work on my uh, module that I'm working with, with a couple of my friends and then I have the one that I'm trying to build and then gonna throw over to them to be like do you think there needs to be any tweaks, edits like balancing issues, whatever hell yeah okay um, let's try to see if we can find the item room no Yeah, I won't be, like, spoiling what my uh, modules are going to be about because I kind of want to, like, release them. And then people will be like, you know, whoa, ah, oh, you fuck. You could have got a devil deal this floor. Oh, cool, a spirit heart I can't grab unless this is a super secret room. Damn you anyway. There is the curse room we could uh, check. Which I will go check is either maybe a flight item in the curse room. Uh, common cold. So this makes it to where on occasions we have poison tears. Unlike other items that grant you poison tears like Scorpio or... Um, Or on Scorpio. <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head. Guppy's tail. It's always welcome under my runs. Always. The Guppy transformation is... There's, a, there's transformations in this game. And one of them is based on Guppy. Which is Isaac's cat. Which we do see like a lot of allusions to. But um, the transformation in Repentance got nerfed. Because... It used to be where every time that you hit an enemy, I had to move. I had to adjust my chair here real quick. I'm sorry. But it used to be when you hit an enemy, you'd get um, a fly. But now it's a random chance if you get a fly or not, which is kind of shit. Let's pop uh, the Empress for the Horror Babylon effect. Also, I think... I want to say coin payouts are based on your luck stat, but I think I'm wrong with that one. I do know that there are some tier effects that pay out via luck. So, I could be right, I could be wrong as well. So there's no more shops for the rest of this floor, or rest of this run, so we can just freely waste our coins as much as we want to. Uh, we have a demon beggar and a regular uh, 
beggar slash bum. I'm just gonna call him Judgments. I like that name a little bit more. Sound a little bit more comfortable saying that word too. Because I'm afraid of like a mishearing and I end up getting cancelled for no reason. <laughs> uh, two Geminis. Wow, they freaking bounce back super hard. Latch key. It's a spirit heart plus two keys and a luck upgrade. Um, so the problem with this point now is that every single enemy that hits us does one whole heart of damage as if they were all champion variant. Guppy's Collar. That is definitely welcome to my runs as well. Guppy's Collar has a chance to, like, revive us upon death. But I think other revival items do take priority before Guppy's Collar does, if you have other revival items. Because there exist about, I think at least three or four in the game that revive you. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, conserve my fucking health here. Because I don't want don't to become Revive Lazarus yet. So survive as long as you can, buddy. Come on. Uh, Blastocyst. Uh, annoying enemy. It's even more annoying boss. Because it's one of those bosses like Fistula and Teratoma. Where when you destroy them they get smaller. Or they create smaller enemies. And then they, like... Because the problem with Blastocyst is it breaks into two. And then it'll break those into two more. And then break those into two more. So, like, there's, like, always an enemy on screen when you're fighting Blastocyst. It's the most annoying freaking thing ever. So, for whatever reason, my attack fly got boosted by a hive mind. And the reason why I say that is because it's registered as a familiar, I thought. And familiars really only get boosted from BFF, which I do not have. Uh, okay, so these things will chase after you. I'm not sure if they're any real threat if they get off of their, like, umbilical chain. But try to kill them while they're still attached if you can. Really scared I was gonna get touched the things. Mr. Fred. Okay. Fuck. Alright, so Mr. Fred will spawn this creep. It's really annoying to deal with. If you can get him before he summons the creep, definitely do it because. This flight will drag on if you can't get it. If I was able to stand in the creep, because there are some ways that you can do that, I would definitely recommend abusing that. Little baggy. Okay. Next floor. Probably gonna have to get a drink after this. Uh. You fucker. So there's, there's an arcade here. We got a bomb judgment, a battery bum, and a standard judgment. There we go, we'll call them bums. It's not really like... Oh, portable slot! The so portable slot has infinite charge, and it always works as long as you have money to be able to pay the portable slot machine. You have a chance to win like hearts and coins and stuff like that. It's it's a decent item, like it has its perks and it has its you know downsides as well. But 
to say it's bad is a bit much. It's not bad, but it's not necessarily good either. Justice. Very, very nice tarot card. At any given time that you can get a justice card, always use it because it's... Well, always use it if you can benefit from it. It's a card that I recommend... Or that I like, by all means. So we got pin. No, not pin. This is a chub. I don't know why I thought pin. I think it's because I saw those like little worms there and I thought they were pin worms. Or some kind or something. Either that or I'm just like tired. Just thinking up the wrong bosses. We also could have encountered pen in this area too, so. So these chest spawns are because of Guppy's uh, tail. I think it increases the chance of chest to spawn. So, speaking of pen, here he is. This is not like pre recorded in or anything, I promise you that much. Uh, look, like quite literally, I just walked in this room and saw him like. Oh god. I just talked about pin the last room and there he is. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get to 50 coins. If I can. The unfortunate thing about this run not granting me flight. If one of these poops can pay out with a nickel... Nope. Uh, I'm going to waste a bomb here just because I have two of them. I'm not going to be here long anyway. Holy crap. Holy crap, Lois. I got a secret room on the first guess. Uh, there is an eternal heart in this room up here. So let's go grab it and make a full heart. <clears throat> just because I can. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, these guys. Thankfully we have enough damage that we don't have to worry about that at all. By the way, those giant black tears was because uh, the broken syringe gave us the effect of the uh, item euthanasia. With euthanasia, occasionally your shot will become like a syringe. Your tears will become like a syringe and then will shoot and hit the enemy. And like shoot out like a big blast of tears that do a lot of damage. So yeah, if you encounter batteries while you have the, the uh, portable slot machine, it's worthless. Got Kane. Alright, we got most of the roster already. There's still a good amount of the roster left. But, um... We're almost there. Bad trip, crap. So bad trip automatically like deals damage to you, or deals deal deals damage to you unless unless you encounter a bad trip pill on a run where you like. If you have low health when you encounter bad trip again on a run, like if you're almost like out of health, that bad trip will be, will become a full health. I always recommend that you guys try to hold on to a bad trip pill as long as you can, and we beat. Mom's heart without having to use Lazarus revived. Fuck yes. Alright, so here's the sending here. Alright, with that, it grants us um, Eden and Bethany. So, Eden is unlocked by beating Mom's Heart for the first time. 
And Bethany is unlocked for be beating Mom's heart without uh, beating Mom's heart as Lazarus without reviving. Um, so we got Maggie here, Kane. We just unlocked Eden. We beat that on hard mode too, so we unlocked Rapt Baby. Uh, let's do a run as Bethany because she's my favorite character. Next to um, Judas. So Bethany starts with an item called the Book of Virtues. Uh, Book of Virtues actually is a very special spacebar item. Which I'll be getting to why it's a bit more special here in a minute or two. But um, Another thing is Bethany is also a special character. So Bethany has those four soul hearts underneath her keys. That is what helps charge her spacebar item. Um, she was introduced back when Afterbirth was the... Or no, Anti-Birth was the DLC for Isaac Rebirth. It was before Afterbirth had come out. I, I think it was actually after the after Afterbirth had come out. And Anti-Birth was uh, seen as a better mod than the official content of Anti-Birth. Anti-Birth was seen as a better content than Afterbirth. There. Um... Which, in all honesty, I did like. I did like Anti Birth. Its music was good. Um, Bethany was awesome, but Bethany's spacebar item was also a lot different. Pardon me, and how it worked back in Anti Birth. So we're gonna bomb the shopkeeper here. I figured he would have paid out with some kind of money. Nope. Alright, so Bethany and Anti-Birth had the Book of Virtues at start, which summon these wisps that follow around Bethany. Uh, if we could find a spaceport item without having to go buy the notched axe, I'll be able to show you what is different with Book of Virtues here in Repentance, which makes it a bit of a better Book of Virtues. Um... Also, the item that we picked up passively is Bob's Curse. We now have uh, every bomb upgrade except for one of them will always grant you five bombs. And we got five poison bombs to mess with. The only one that I know of that doesn't give you um, bombs upon use or upon pickup, I mean, is Blood Bombs because it gives you an HP upgrade instead. So we had the Lover's card, which just pops, but when you pop it, just drops two red hearts. Uh, we picked up the Hanged Man, which allows us to have flight for one room. Because much like in D&D, flight in Isaac is really strong. Because there's a lot of things that you can do with flight that... Is really great, I guess. I don't know. My brain's like half off today. It has been pretty much this entire weekend, but. <laughs> uh, I got Torn Photo, which is a shot speed upgrade and a tears upgrade. Always welcome those because in the very uh, early game, having like a high fire rate and how fast the bullets fly across the screen is always kind of like a big need. Uh, shit. So I don't try, try not to take damage as Bethany because, well, unless you absolutely have to. No. Fuck it. Well, all right. So Curse of the Tower makes it to where it'll spawn troll bombs upon taking damage. I do not like this item because every time that I took in this item. In previous runs, I've always lost. Always. So, I usually don't pick this up if I can, if I encounter it. I usually avoid it if I can. So we're not going to play Sacrifice Rooms as Bethany because Bethany can only have Red Hearts HP. Because that's her character gimmick. Because the Soul Hearts go towards charging her space for item. Uh... Also, another thing is Bethany doesn't get 
Devil Deal items. Well, she can get Devil Deal items, but she starts with Angel Deal precedent, like, immediately. Which is what makes her an even more fun character to play with. Because a lot of the Angel item pool items are better than some of the Devil Deal item pools. Although, there are some items in the Devil Deal pool that are really, really better than Angel Deals. It's kind of like a, a mix between the two of them. Like, Devil Deals have Brimstone, which is nice, but Angel Deals can have the Trisegation, or Trisegion, or whatever it's called. I think it's called Trisegation, because that's how I've always pronounced it, because that's how I see it as. And I've never seen or heard anybody pronounce it, so I can't tell if I'm right or wrong, so... But it's essentially Holy Hadoukens. Really fucking nice tier effect. One of my favorite ones of the, uh, of the Angel Deal pool. Then there's also the whole thing that Bethany can unlock some do uh, Angel Deal items. So that's why I'm not going to talk about them. Because I don't want to spoil it yet. Grab all this money. Best bud. So this one only comes out whenever you get hit. We're gonna blow up a couple of more of these rocks. Nothing. Okay. Is there maybe a no? Because this is, it would have been right where the pot is. Excuse me. The urn. It's an urn. Uh, let's blow this up. Nope. Okay. I didn't want a secret room anyway. It's not like, you know, it helps. <laughs> Maybe right here? Hey! Apple of Sodom. Uh, so this is a fun item, a fun trinket, if you're playing as anyone besides Bethany. And the reason why I do not like this item on Bethany is because Apple of Sodom has an effect where when you pick up red hearts, they will turn those red hearts into uh, spiders. They have a chance to turn them into spiders. Unless you're at full health, then they'll always be spiders. Or if you can't have red hearts, they'll it'll always pay out. Well, I was doing one run where I had accidentally uh, had the trinket permanently. Because there's a thing that gives it to you permanently. And I ended up losing because I couldn't pick up red hearts because every time I tried to pick them up <gasps> this fucking run this fucking run has been won sacred heart oh my gosh I never encountered that item so sacred heart gives you a big damage boost and an HP upgrade, and plus all your tiers are homing. Like, one of the best Angel Deal items that you can possibly get. Next to try next to the Trisegation. AKA Holy Hadoukens. Which is for the sake of me not knowing if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'm just gonna call it the Holy Hadouken from here on. Because I don't want to keep mispronouncing it and end up pissing people off. I ain't about that life. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it. I said that this friend was one, and now we're going to lose it because I'm not careful enough with my placement of character, or my character stands. Alright, so... Here's what I was talking about with the Apple of Sodom. There's a chance that that red heart won't go to our health. See? It's honestly a trinket I do not recommend as Bethany. But any other character, go for it. Especially one that can't have red hearts as health. Because there do exist a couple like that. Which we will be seeing later on. Or if you're run, if you have nothing but spirit hearts as health. 
I recommend picking up Apple of Sodom. Pick up the bomb. It's 11 oh eight. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm gonna probably go till after this. I'm gonna probably gonna be ending the stream here after this run's done. Unless I die prematurely. Like, if I die before Depths 2, then I'll probably do one more run. But if I die on Depths 2, or past it, and in the run here. A lighter. Alright, so this has a chance to cause enemies to have the burn condition upon entering a room. As much as I do like Apple of Sodom, like I said before, I maybe it's Sodom? I think it's Sodom. But um, I do not recommend that on Bethany, because you will lose the run. Guaranteed. Unless you are good at Isaac, which anyone who watches this is better at Isaac than I am, I can guarantee. Alright, so there's Maconium. So another thing is about these Wisps. I'm not sure if the Wisp take on, like, tier effects that you have. As far as, like, if they home, if you have homing. Because I know that there are dis there are different wisps, and each wisp has their, like, own special property to them. Which is really cool. And they even have, like, their own different little looks. Just every Brook of Virtue's wisp looks exactly the same. But we'll be seeing more wisps whenever I eventually get that, you know, way to be able to change how, the how they look. But yeah, the Wisp also takes damage. It'll just disappear like that. Uh, I'm not sure how much health they have exactly. But I think it's actually a pretty decent amount. Alright, I'm only doing this because I think there might be a key available in that challenge room down there. Because I want to get in my item room. There you go. That's the run's middle finger right there. <laughs> oh, that's that beagle luck right there, guys. This could be, um... Justice. It's magician. Magician would give us, uh, homing, uh, homing tears. Baby Bender. Uh, so, the only way I thought you could... Okay, so Baby baby Bender is unlocked if you um, have homing tiers and you use an item that gives you homing tiers. Whether it be for a room or whether it be, you know, permanently, whatever. But Baby Bender is a um, trinket that will uh, let your familiars have homing shots. It's kind of nice, especially if you have homing shots as well, because that means all your shots are have a high chance to land. <laughs> uh, let's go fight the boss here. It's mega fatty. So on occasions when he shits, he creates little dips. Matchbook. Unfortunately, Matchbook didn't give us a friggin' key. It didn't give us a key item. Uh, let's go down to the next floor. We don't need the item room anyway. We, we got this run one. Okay. Uh, sure, we'll take Nose Goblin. Nose Goblin has a chance to fire tears that are boogers, and the boogers stick to enemies and deal damage to them over time. It's not a lot of damage, but it's still damage. Also, the reason why we have um, a charge on our Book of Virtues already through Spirit Hearts is because Matchbook gives you one black heart upon picking it up. On top of that, you do get a chance to get more bombs, and it always drops the match trinket. Which makes it to where bombs have a higher chance of spawning. Uh, this... No. 
What the hell? We have no ability to get into our <laughs> item rooms. It's mom's locket. That makes it to when you unlock doors and ch lock chests, which we can't do. Uh, it'll give you half a heart back in healing. So it's got its perks. But not in our situation. Uh, never encountered one a secret room like this one before. I can see forever. This gives us the location of all secret rooms. A uh, scapular or a Peshel candle? Or a Pascal candle? I don't know. I think it's... I'm definitely taking the candle. Because, uh... It's really good. Range downgrade. Infested, which spawns spiders. If there was poop, it would spawn a lot more spiders. A headache all of a sudden. Let's keep moving on here. Uh, spirit heart over. I fucked up. I do have hanged man. I could use the hangman card to go over and grab it. But all it is is a uh, charge for book of virtues. Will pop here. Buddy in a box has appeared in the basement. Uh, so the candle will make it to where if we clear rooms without taking damage, the flame gets bigger and our tears upgrade. Our tears get, uh, we get tears upgrades out of it, which is really cool. Let's pop Book of Virtues here. We haven't played a blood donation machine before yet, so let's play it. Oh, no. I should have saw that coming. And we lost our ability to be able to get an angel room, or an angel deal to this floor. So no holy Hadoukens. And since we took damage, the candle's flame went out. So that's the whole, that's the downside of the candle, is that, um, if your flames go out, uh, if, if you take damage, your flame dies down, but if you can keep clearing rooms without taking damage, you can get a higher flame. It's kind of a risk-reward sort of like, it's a really good risk-reward system. Can I get a key, please? Oh, duh, yeah, I did get my angel deal already. Thanks, the real, don't forget. What was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna go into a friggin' angel, empty angel deal room. Which I could have just fought the angel statue if I really wanted to, but... I don't have access to that floor yet, so I don't even know why I would even want to fight it prematurely. There is an unlock for it. No matter if you do it early or not, so... Uh, fistula. Thank you, Homing Tears, you made this boss a fucking joke. I got it anyway. Fuck it, let's do it. Okay. Uh, it does not appear till that floor is unlocked, so... I should have actually thought that that's how that was programmed. Let's see if I can fix that issue. 
experiencing minor issues, dropped frames. Uh, so I'm going to pop open BRB here. Uh, switch that up. <clears throat> yeah, I probably got to beat the lamb before I can fight the angel statues. So I think I might have figured out what the issue was. I think it's because I had my Sam and Max window open because for whatever reason that game doesn't save. But then again, it's probably one of the most oldest Sam and Max games. I'm not sure how many were released back in the really old days with those computers because it's a very old point and click series. A fun one, granted. Uh, let's just do this because I don't feel like risking. Stay asleep. Hate strangers without prejudice. It's dangerous to go alone. Ooh. It's your drop charm. I don't think I know what this does. can't remember off the top of my head. But the other one over there is the panic button, which I think activates your spacebar item if you're about to get hit. It's got a lot of synergies with um, most spacebar items, like how to jump, uh, the fidget Polaroid. Uh, golden horseshoe. I think that gives you a chance to get um like extra item rooms. So yeah, we're gonna stick with nose goblin. I don't know what teardrop teardrop charm does, but oh yeah, it's a book of virtues here. We finally got a space for item. Um, Book of Virtues is an active space bar, an active passive item, where essentially your it'll stay in your space bar item slot, and any space bar item that you get will combine with Book of Virtues, so you get like different whiffs depending on the item that you pick up for your space bar. Thank you, Curse of the Tower, Fistula, Mini Boss, Ah. Curse of the Tower back at it again. Uh, oh. That was my fault entirely there. Ooh, rotten baby. So, on occasion, this will spawn flies. Actually, I think every time that we shoot, it spawns flies. And it won't spawn another fly until the other one's dead. So. And I think the flies scale with our damage. They might take a percentage of it. I don't know exactly how it works. But Crystal Ball, I think, also gives us a the ability to see the entirety of the floor upon use. Uh, that's a worm trinket. We're not going to use it or take it. Steam sale. We got one more shop, so. Steam sale will probably have its use. Uh, no, not Pulse Worm. All it is is like a tear effect that just makes the uh, tears like pulsate as they fly across the screen. Thank you, Candle, for giving us that tears upgrade. Let's hit this button. Oh god. <laughs> 
Papa's got himself a Joker card. Uh, Joker teleports you instantly to your Devil or Angel room. Shit. Oh, it's just Monster 2. I was worried for nothing. So if we don't get an Angel deal, we could probably pop the Joker card here if we really wanted to. Uh, shit. Yeah, we weren't going to get an Angel deal anyway. We were too low of a chance, so we can just use Joker. Get some Spear Hearts. Speed downgrade. Explosive Diarrhea. Another I'm Excited pill. I found pills. Yeah, let's just pop Joker here. Oh, it's a Devil Deal for Spirit of the Night. This grants us flight and be able to shoot through objects with our tears. Yeah, we'll take it. Only because we get flight. One of the best uh, effects in Isaac. Library. <clears throat> That's another thing about Bethany. It's really great. His Book of Virtues is part of the library pool. So upon picking up two other uh, books, we get the we get the bookworm transformation. Uh, so these guys can only be hit in the back. It's kind of like um, I think they're called dark nuts back in Zelda One. Uh, we got Telepathy for Dummies, which gives us Homing Tears for one room, and How to Jump. So How to Jump actually has some funny wisps. When you just spring forward, they appear where you last stood. It's got Synergy. I mean, I'm probably not going to take it, but it's got Synergy. Oh. Here. So over there's our secret room. Two sacks. Keys. We could have used these keys a couple of floors ago. The tower. Oh gosh, that's a champion pin. Uh, let's go get our let's go get our item room. I just realized we didn't have that. Judgment. This spawns one of the bums. It can be any one of them, I assume. More commonly, it's the uh, one that wants money. This is the fool. Takes us back to the beginning of the floor. Lunch. Just a flat HP upgrade. Also, I think playing judgments will increase your chances for angel deals. I might have been misseeing that. Uh, let's go down here. I know blowing them up increases your devil deal chances. This is the uh, blowing up shopkeepers do. This is prayer card, which will grant us one eternal heart upon use. We really want to we can get one more eternal heart, but I think I'll pass. The Eraser. If that's the kill blown enemy, it'll never appear for the rest of the run. I think it's also once per floor use. Unless you're playing Bethany, which I think she gets multiple uses. But I don't want to say that and end up being wrong. 
because I don't want to spread misinformation. Uh, I like the fool more than the tower. We've already got Curse of the Tower as it goes as it is now. <laughs> Alright, bomb, here we go. Oh, if we would have missed bomb, we would we would have been able to come back and actually get our thing because we have the fool card, which lets us teleport out of the mom room. Uh, unfortunately, we were too slow with the run, so we couldn't get boss rush, but there's always later runs. Boom one. Right. Uh, I gotta go back, there's a tinted rock. I noticed it just as I walked out. Wrong way. <laughs> Man, Gertie, that's Gertie Jr., I think. <clears throat> He's a pain in the ass, sometimes, but with our setup that we had, we wiped out his ass in like a flat three seconds. I think it was three seconds. Let's bomb here. Midnight snack. Uh, judging by how big that room is, it's probably Mr. Fred again. Unless double trouble bosses can spawn on... boom. It's Mr. Fred, yeah. Easy peasy. Wheel of Fortune spawns a uh, slot machine. Uh, it's multi dimensional, baby, which. Nah, screw it. When we shoot tears through it, it does that where it kind of like makes more tears appear. Alright, last floor. I forgot to pop crystal ball when I had the chance. I don't care about the angel deal per, uh, because it's the last floor of the game anyway. After wiping out mom's heart, it's not going to matter anymore. Uh, that blue champion is what scared me because when they when they get killed they explode into like shots. Mom's heart. Let's see what about the eyes. I'm just gonna stand in place because multi-dimensional baby. Did it. Oh god. I think this is rubber cement unlock. Yep, rubber cement. 
which uh, and chat which also unlocked wispy baby because they beat mom's heart on hard with bethany well i guess that's it for this stream uh the real don't forget thanks for dropping by you were like the real mvp man <laughs>